What's the worst thing you've ever done when went to buy a vibrator from a local large supermarket and bought a happy birthday card and a gift bag with it so it looked like a gift? That's kind of genius, not gonna lie. Not me, but my stepbrother, when he was a teen, put his dick into the mouthpiece of a plastic flute and blew himself. My stepmom walked in on him, and now every few Christmas he gets one as a gag gift. I ended up making out with and going home with an attractive but completely crazy woman who used to hang around our local bar. Back at her place, she puts on her Lauren Hill CD, drips completely <laughs> attempts to dance provocatively, we were both pretty drunk, and starts giving me a BJ. It was at this point, her 18-year-old son wandered into the lounge and started protesting violently about what was going on. She tells him to fuck off, and a huge argument erupts between them. Remember, she's drunk and naked, and I'm sitting on the sofa with my jeans around my ankles and rapidly deflating hard on. I came to my senses, zipped back up, and got the fuck out. Apparently, she's currently doing time for violently assaulting and attempting to stab her boyfriend, so I think I got off pretty light. Jacked off in my car waiting for my friend in a job interview, and he got to the car right when I was coming he saw me. All he said was, damn dude, you couldn't wait? He didn't even ridicule or shame me. Send to a stranger recently met online, they'd been sextort me. Fun times. This happened to me the other day. Laughed and said, send them, I don't care. Thankfully, I haven't heard anything from anyone about getting my Most of the time, they never leak unless you pay or threaten them. Cutting off all contact works like 90% of the time. This is so much more prevalent than most people imagine. You don't really think about it until it happens. These people can even send what looks like real normal Snapchats, but they are fake. I was sick with something that forced me to the toilet for literally in the entire day. If I thought I was done, I would go lay back down only to get right back up and have to shit again. Well, I figured since I was going to be in there so long, I had time to rub one out. I mean, that wasn't false, I had the time. So I did just that. Well, it worked up the sickness and shortly after I finished, I was overheating and sweating and just not feeling good. I started shitting again, pretty good, and felt a vomit coming on. So there I was, shit all over my ass, on my stomach, and I'm hunched over the toilet throwing up who knows what. Not my finest hour. I bet the shower afterwards is one of the best you've ever taken. Pretty much everything I've done well. It's just a generally undignified state to be in. Jerked off in a port while listening to the Pope give a sermon to 350,000 people. The standard. Fucked myself with a vegetable, masturbated at work, sexed some guy from back in the day, etc. I smelled my friend's mom's panties that were on the floor and did a dry heat because it wasn't good at all. Put my d inside a toilet roll and fucked it. I ended up with a bruised d head. Jerked off on the freeway on the way home from a trip to my girlfriend's place, still horny, and missed my exit. I had to drive an extra 50 miles on an alternative route to get home. I'm glad you got off eventually. I was completely shit-faced at a party and lost my friends. Met a girl while smoking. Next thing I knew, we were in the restroom. Had no clue how I got there. Proceeded to have s until we heard knocks on the bathroom door. Made up a story about her being sick and me helping her. They didn't buy it. Got kicked out of the club and all my friends had to leave the party because I couldn't get in anymore. Met a girl two years later who I'm into. Turns out, the girl from the bathroom is her girlfriend. Edit. So, I think some of you might be misinterpreting my use of the word girlfriend in my story. I'm a girl. All three of us are lesbians. Girl from the bathroom and new girl I was into were slash are in a relationship. Hope that clarifies it. Haha. <laughs> Man, the ending was a curveball. Jacked off in an airplane bathroom on a 45 minute flight. Ah, a fellow member of the Mile High Club, solo aviator division. Female friend in our group was a super upset at a karaoke bar. Some drunk guy said something, she's in tears. As the least drunk, I am volunteered to drive her home and do not have s She invites me in for coffee so I can sober slash wake up and drive home. And we agreed, no s We had s twice before passing out and twice again the next day. You had one job. Met a girl from Tinder, we had a nice date, talk a little about past experiences, sometime after we start making out. When things get a bit too hot, 
she tells me that she's not 100% comfortable with having sex on a first date. I say, well, that's fine, no problem. After the date, I walked her home. She invites me in, offering me a glass of water. As soon as the doors are locked, she basically jumps me and we have sex for hours. After the first bout is over, I asked her what made her mind change. She shrugged and said, eh, you got me curious. Best bling ever. Got married and raised kids. You dirty f Paid for not one, but two f subscriptions. Two years later, we're going through my credit card statements and noticed two charges I don't recognize that month. Went back and checked previous months and they all had these charges. Called the suspicious looking payment processing company and slightly indignant, I asked the agent what the charges are for. She bluntly told me the names of the two famous sites. There was a pause. I said, oh, and hung up. I've been paying for for two years. I think I used the sites for less than a month, then went back to the free ones. Takeaway, HD does not enhance the jerk Flew 15 hours to another continent to see a former friends with benefits, completely forgetting the important why regarding former. Charmed my way back into her good graces, spent two days not leaving the room of a pricey hotel with her, only to be stabbed with a fork. Still had s with her, and then left with blood running down my arm to the airport. Still get the occasional passionate messages from her, and I would be lying if I'm not tempted to go back. Sometimes toxic sex is the best. Edit. Additional context. She kept the fork after I left the hotel. Sometimes she sends me a sexy selfie. Sometimes she sends me a picture of the fork. Sometimes both. Ah, it stuck you f***ing crazy after we told you that wasn't a good idea. Just in case anyone will need this before going on a date or going out drinking or if you feel like you are going to cheat on your partner. Or basically whatever that you know you'll regret because you are just f***ing masturbate first. The post not clarity will provide you wisdom on the next decisions you will make. Helped out a hot coworker, stalker supervisor. I'm in my early 20s working a small warehouse job for the summer in my hometown. I've got the awkward hots for the older woman Tina, none of these names are real, who just seems so much out of my league that I don't even try. One day we got a bit of banter going and before I realize what I've done, I ask if she wants to hang out. He asks if I have a car. I do. She says yes. So we're hanging out at her place. He's telling me stories that are like, holy shit, and the beers are going fast. Then she gets a bit of a lost look in her eyes, goes quiet, and then asks if we can go for a ride. We're out driving around. She's telling me how she used to go driving every night, but got a DWI hanging over her for another few months. Then she starts giving me directions on where to go. A bit later, we're in a cul-de-sac, and she tells me to park and points out a spot. Cool. We're going to make out, I think. Instead, she just sits there staring at one house. Looking in the front window, I see Bill, again, not his real name, our supervisor. Holy shit, what is going on here? She tells me that her and much older Bill used to have a thing, but he refused to leave his wife and kids. That he has totally ghosted her because he thinks she's too obsessive but she can't stop thinking about him i hear red alert go off in my head and i and i get the car started he turns to me looks me straight in the eyes and start undoing my pants i turn the car off for the next half hour we just sit there silently staring straight ahead at bill's place while she gives me a slow hand eventually finishing me off with a and me driving her home so we ended up doing this for the rest of the summer. Never had s Pants never came off. Never kissed. September came and I left town for my next semester at uni. Oh great, Nancy. That weird couple was parked out front again. Yes, they're staring at the same house down the street. Should we confront them this time? Eh, she's already starting. I'll just close the blinds. Now this is worse than the mud butt cummy tummy dude. The mud butt cummy tummy dude was at least understandable, and it was pure misfortune that got him there. I bet you get a stiffy just thinking of Bill now. I don't know if this counts, but I accidentally threw up a little on my significant other's and he thought it was spit, so I just played it off because I was so embarrassed. Yeah, that's a secret I'm taking to my grave. Edit. Not that anyone asked, but 
I also had tuna beforehand and somehow I only threw up little water slash bile so it wasn't like nasty as fuck. But also babe if you're reading this, I'm sorry but just know I love you and I did it out of love and to not kill our mood. The small clay vase my mom made for me. Also snuck into my high school girlfriend's house through the window one night. While we were fucking, her dad comes in her room. I was mortified, so I hid under the covers like a five-year-old. While her dad stood there and she kept telling me to come out, cause he knows. Finally, came out and had to walk past him in shame to exit.